name is Haley and I'm here with the Flint Area Association of Realtors. The purpose of these videos are to introduce you to apps and programs that can assist you with your everyday business as a Realtor. Today I will be introducing an app called Magic Plan. This app enables you to create room layouts of rooms or offices. This app is only available for those running the Apple iOS. Select the App Store on your Apple-based device to take you to the search for the download location. Select the search feature on your screen. Type in Magic Plan and as you type the results will appear below. Select Magic Plan, which will usually be the first option. Select the install icon to begin the installation. Select the open icon to start running the app. At this screen, you may create an account, adjust your settings, view previous plan you created, or start a new plan. At any time, you can select the help icon for information or tips for that screen. We will go ahead and create a new plan. Choose whether this plan is residential or commercial by selecting either icon. As you can see, you have several options on this screen. You may select a location by typing in the location information or by using the GPS feature on your phone if activated. Once either selection is completed, select the plus symbol to start a new room. On this screen, we will be selecting the capture button, but you do also have the option to draw the room dimensions freehand by selecting the draw button. On this screen, we will select what floor we are drawing. Here we will select the type of room we will be capturing. Okay, let me start over. The screen shows you the proper location to stand when capturing the room with the camera feature. Do not walk around. Try to just turn yourself around when capturing the corner. Aim the corner indicator at the floor and in a corner. When the corner is behind furniture or some other object, do your best to aim through it. Use the blue markers for the doorways. With the layout, capture the first corner you did one or more times. Oh, that was wrong. To finish with the layout, capture the first corner you did one more time. Here is a screenshot of what your display will look like. Once the outline has been created, the wall angles can be changed by touching the corners with your finger and dragging them to the proper location. You can also correct the length of the wall in the room by first inputting the distance from your location to the nearest corner, then selecting next to go on to the next screen, or just select done if you are happy with using rough dimensions. You can place other objects like furnaces, stairs, or landings by selecting this icon. You also have the option to place furniture and objects in the layout. When done adding the options, select the done icon in the top left corner of the screen. In the final step, you are given options to add a picture of the room, enter a label, or even just notes you want to keep about that file. 
For more information on this app, go to the website shown on your screen.